Hey guys, AD Wheeler here from the Explorographer.com, and today we're going to take a look at On One Photo 10 and answer the question Is it worth the $90 upgrade? Okay, guys, I've been asked a lot over the last few days Is On One Photo 10? really worth the upgrade price of like $90. Now they're doing a special right now, I think there's only one day left actually till uh, November 13th, um, where you can get all sorts of video training and everything for free. So uh, I would suggest that you check out the link in the description. Uh, if you wanna upgrade, make sure you do that now so you can take advantage of that for sure. Um, so I have the browser loaded up right now. There's significant changes here. Uh, normally, uh, when a company does an upgrade, okay, they usually uh, do, you know, add features and they usually fix bugs, right? Well, they fix the bugs in on one 9.5 for sure. Uh, the memory footprint is much better now. Uh, it's much faster. But on top of all of that, they've added a bunch of new features. I think on one has really recognized that Adobe Lightroom has made some missteps lately. And, you know, there's this wide open door right now for a company to come through, right, and really steal that fire. Uh, so, you know, uh, a lot of people don't like the subscription deal with Adobe and all that. I, I, I don't mind it. I like it. I use it. Um, but I've also been, you know, kind of bitten by the Lightroom bug lately and the problems with uh, that we're seeing with, you know, them kind of making a hobbyist version out of it rather than a professional version. And I understand marketing and all that, but uh, it you can't go back. Develop a new product, develop another version, Lightroom Lite. I don't know. Just throwing that out there. But uh, don't take away the professional features for us folks who rely on, you know, Lightroom for our, our workflow every day, right? So I still use Lightroom, but I'm really curious now more about the browse feature uh, in On One Photo 10 uh, because it doesn't use a catalog, right? What it does use is uh, your hard drives directly. And it, this makes it much quicker because it doesn't need to generate all the catalog stuff that Lightroom does. Now it doesn't have all the immediate features that Lightroom has, but it does, they are adding more. And I think that uh, this single upgrade that they've done to Photo 10, to me, is worth the one-time fee of 90 bucks to upgrade, right? If you're a 9.5 user and you wanna upgrade. Um, <clears throat> but this is, you know, this is to, up to you. I was gonna show you around just a little bit uh, and show you what the uh, alternatives are here. Now you can, you can add editing software to this just like Lightroom. Uh, you can do all these features. Uh, and it has all of the starring and, and flagging and all this kind of stuff. Uh, so, you know, all of those items are there as well. Uh, so, you know, I think that uh, they're really making a play right now. Uh, and it's, it's really nice to see. So let's just take a photo here. Uh, and I'm, I'm just kind of playing around with this for the first time with you guys. So I just wanted to show you kind of what's available. So they've taken like all the menus that used to be up here at the top and all this kind of stuff. And they've moved to these side menus. So they have a nice uh, open your desktop, open cloud drives. You can actually add Google Drive and Dropbox and uh, WeTransfer and all those, those things. You can add those to the cloud sources and then you can actually access those through this browser. I mean, super cool, right? Awesome stuff. Okay, so then we have over here on the right hand side, we have what we can actually do with this particular photo that I have selected. So um, obviously there's the whole uh, enhance package, the effects package, and then the, and the portraits package. Now I mostly use the effects package, I will tell you that. I used to use the portrait package all the time for my photo shoots when I was shooting models and, and that sort of stuff because the features are just ridiculously good. Uh, and for any portrait photographers out there, I'd highly recommend uh, the On One uh, for that because, wow, uh, just made my life so much easier and uh, the presets were great and the, the controllability and customizable uh, features that you could do with it is just off the hook great. All right, so say I want to just edit this photo. So I'm just going to hit the effects button here. It's going to give me all these regular options. You know, you can edit it as layers. You can do a smart photo, which means it saves it as a PSD, which is really cool. Um, and you can set your resolutions and all that kind of stuff. I do edit in Pro Photo. So, um, and you can also turn this dialog off once you have it set. 
but I'm going to edit a copy. So it's going to make a copy just like Lightroom does, and it's going to load up. Now, one thing you're going to notice here uh, is how fast this is. I mean, this is, that's, that's fast, guys. That's real time, right? Um, so they've changed a lot here as well. They've, they've taken the bar that was at the top and kind of moved it over to the side, and you have all the, the things like uh, the uh, add a bug, uh, ma a masking bug, and, and uh, quick mask tools, and all of that stuff is still here. They've changed the uh, interface over on the right-hand side now to add filters. Basically, I have my pr preset filter here. If I click that, um, it'll apply that filter. Again, you notice it's pretty fast uh, and snappy. And then it stacks the filters over here, and it's just like layers in Photoshop. It stacks the layer, uh, the filter that you're working on first here at the bottom, and you can make controls there, and it only displays that what's going on at that particular time. So I can adjust the vibrance, as you can see here. So I can do that. And then when I go into the second filter, this sunshine filter that I have here, then it stacks them. So everything below is turned on and so on. And I can kind of do all my control there and uh, adjust all of the scene that way. If I want to add another filter for more control, I just click on the add filter. Uh, that'll pop up this little window, which is really cool. I can click on the filter that I'd like to add and it pop, boom, right there. Um, it's just totally awesome. I'm, I'm really digging it. So um, if you have 9.5, you know that this is different. Very easy and adoptable though. If you, you know, you're gonna get right into it. Uh, it's not gonna be difficult for you to figure out. Uh, and it's way faster. And okay, and of course, uh, the biggest thing for me is that we do not have to deal with the memory problems that we have in 9.5. No matter what I did in 9.5, I just couldn't seem to uh, get it to work very long without running out of memory. And I had 32 gigs installed and it still would run out of memory no matter what. Um, granted, I have more memory installed now, but I, I monitor it in the background and I really don't see the footprint that was there before. So I think they've really done a good job with that. Um, as far as the other modules go, they all got similar treatments to this. So I'm really not gonna go through all of the different modules, but I will tell you that they've all got these upgraded UI and just, you know, really refine the features. And in the effects, there's color grading presets and filters now that there weren't there before. It also should be worth noting, guys, that uh, I also have running uh, behind this Photoshop and on one has integrated uh, itself into Photoshop in a much nicer manner now by actually putting entries on the filter member. You remember before uh, the older versions were over here under automate and now uh, they're over here under filters and that's really an awesome upgrade. So no better time than right now to grab yourself on one photo 10. Is it worth it? Uh, absolutely. Uh, I give it five shutter releases or whatever I do for ratings. I'm really not sure. Um, but anyways, there you have it, guys. Uh, just to give you a lowdown uh, on the new On One Photo 10, I think it's totally worth the upgrade price. If you're waffling, don't do it. Get it right now so you can get those training videos for sure. Check out the link in the description. Uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you don't, I totally get that and understand it. That's cool. And subscribe to my YouTube channel because that always helps as well. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Thanks.